Hey Busters, welcome back to another Capsule Toy video. So today we'll be taking a look at the brand new, I guess uh, the Kabuto Mushi from the Danko Mushi series. Although, uh, let me just open this up. I think it was a little bit different. Um, this time it's just called the Ikimono Daizukan or kind of like, it says under here. Uh, let's see if I can um, get a bit of it. Zoomed in. This is the diversity of life on Earth. Although really it just means um, I guess a uh, living organism giant encyclopedia <laughs> and then it says Kabuto Mushi so just the beetle uh, this time they just used the normal Dango Mushi design uh, this might be a, like a different spin-off because I know the turtles called them like turtle sets they each have like the name but this one specifically just used um, this brand new design of encyclopedia instead so this might be the new thing they're going for that or just the name is too long <laughs> but uh, yeah um, so here, I'll just go over like the quickly um, the lineup. You know, you got the Yamamoto Kabushi. Uh, there's a black one, and then the what is it? Akacha. So like the brownish red ones. There's actually three types: the Yamato Kabuto Mushi, the Heracles Heracles type, and the Heracles Budizeni types. And then there's a rare one of the Heracles Heracles Gray type, rare. Um, so if you get it, it should be sealed as always in like a shrink wrap, uh, two set, like two um, shrink plastics around it. Um, I actually took them off as soon as I got it because at the uh, store, they only had a couple left and there were people kind of like around it. So as soon as I rolled one, I quickly opened it to see uh, which one I get. As there's only three types, I wanted one of each. So I, I just quickly opened it on the spot to uh, check inside because unlike normal this time, because there's lots of different colors, it's very easy or it's kind of hard to tell inside so yeah i'm actually not sure which one this one is so let's just crack it open so as always um parts are here ah okay so as you can see i think this is the yamato one so i think it's the rhinoceros beetle so the bottom part here is the stand as always you just kind of pop this part open flip it in and it becomes a nice display stand like so and then the top part of it is just a throwaway piece except for this clear part. This is the clear stand for when you want it, so just pop that off. And this one is useless, so recycle it. So yeah, and uh, as always, uh, this display stand is not on kind of like, what is it, ball joint hinges or whatever, or like swivels. Um, they're actually pegged, hexagonal, hexagonal pegs, so six sides. So you don't want to like rotate it, it will break. You just want to slowly, you know, take it like kind of like push it out while kind of like wiggling it out slowly maybe get your fingernails in like that so let's just slowly get that out there we go once you get a piece because you don't really want to snap it see like that and then you can just rotate it it's up to you really how much you want um i'll figure that later i think uh on the little booklet when i first showed it off i think it did um show it off a bit so actually let's just open it so yeah so here the booklet it just kind of tells you like overall how it's done um so i got this one the yamato so here but then the longer one heracles heracles it says uh, how to put it in and then it also teaches you how here how to set it up for flight mode so just a quick overview few it just said um push the head downwards so you can leave a little gap between the head and the torso move the wings about two millimeters up swing them outwards and then uh, angle them out at about 30 45 degrees then put the wings in there and then they say kind of have like the beetle flying upwards like that probably uh they recommend this because of how heavy it is balance wise so that's just it and of course there's also a connector port here that i'll later show you but yeah so that's just that so let's see what we got this time as always we got the wings Ooh, the wings are really nice this time so let's cut these bad boys out but yeah, oh, okay, so I noticed they put it in two different ones. Does, does that mean they're actually this time uh, color-coded it so it's uh, you can tell which wings is which? Um, hmm. No, it's just talking about the legs and stuff. Ah, okay, so here it just says straight up left and right should be written on it. So that's good. Oh, wait, oh, it's also say here. So right here, tome no bukuro and pink iro bukuro. So... Uh, for those who get a brand new one um it just said the left one left one is in the clear bag and the right side wing is in the pink bag so if that's the case i'm just gonna leave these and open these a bit later so let's just open this Ooh, that's a big head 
just cut these out. So I also noticed, um, unlike previous releases, um, this time they just cut, left the runners on for the legs. So, you know, no mistakes there, and which is probably overall better on there. Ooh, that's nice and heavy. So this time I got like the reddish brown. One well, looks really nice, really heavy. So yeah, I'm really happy with this release. Like, uh, oh no, the little feeler things. Cause, oh, okay, they're on ball joints, so. Oh yeah, oh, look at that. Even like, the little head here should move, yeah? Oh, look at that. Hmm, so I can't really tell. Okay, there we go. So I think this is just bent a little bit, but it's just soft plastic, nothing you can't fix. So here is curved too, but the horn here is soft plastic, so I'll off it a bit. Did I cut this? Yep. So that's nice of them. They already have the legs all done up like this. So yeah. Okay, so sorry guys, focus. The lighting's probably not that good, so. So yeah, it's kind of hollow there, the good pieces. Uh, I think because it's soft plastic, so you know, I guess the it's kind of a little bit warped when it's stuck in the capsule itself. But overall, it's really good. And the wings, ooh, that's some nice paint apps. Like here, it's all matte finish, but then when you open it up, it's got that like, I guess like because bugs have the exoskeleton, it's got that nice gloss to it. And look at that paint app. Right, and I guess I forgot to mention it, but I figured uh, I forgot. But uh, yeah, for those wondering, uh, this is only 500 yen or like five dollars, probably a bit more with shipping or um, uh, different uh, what is it, shoot, convert uh, currency conversion costs. So, so this one does it say? So, this one, do you say what legs do you want? They usually say it's somewhere on the legs. This time, the legs feel a bit cheap compared to the other ones, I feel like, but I haven't gotten the other like. Here you can kind of see the molding here, like the seam lines. Not as well as before, but mm, it's fine. Okay, so this one says three. So this one says something. No, nope. uh, this one says two. Okay, so sorry, guys, sorry. This one says two. This one says three. So two, three, one, and then according to the booklet, because this time they really want to help you. I think it says one is in the front, two is the middle. Uh, the rear legs are three. So. And then based on how you should angle it, uh, well, you just look at where the ball joint is, so it's definitely that way. So let's let's see. I'm guessing legs on after doesn't seem to be the smart move. So I think putting on the head uh, the head first seems to be the better move. So first, just pop that in. Although hmm, the head joint here seems like it won't really fit that well, but. There we go. So, got that there. Got the little ones. All right. So, let's get these front legs in first. So, it's, this is kind of, mm, it's kind of like soft plastic-ish. So, I think if we just twist it, it should be fine. Yeah, there we go. Leave a little nub there. You might want to like trim that off with some, you know, hobby knives or something. Mm, but I think if you twist it, it just leaves a minimal mark. So you kind of see right there, it has a little nub, so it just kind of eh, do that. So this should be the front legs. So we just put that in here. There we go. And this time, mm, I mean, the ball joint seems a little bit more solid than previous releases. Uh, at least, I guess the Beatles have, haven't come in a while, so I can't really remember. But it definitely feels way better than the recent release of the crabs. So just angle in there. Oh, your legs. Little. So yeah, as I said before, it's just soft plastic. Not soft plastic. It's kind of like medium, you know. But just nothing like a little heat or putting in some boiling water and just resetting it. So you got the beetle there. Okay, so it's he's more like purplish, brown in hand. Like it's kind of hard to see. I get, but yeah. It's still really cool. Alright, next one here. Got this one. So I think for this one, this was the Yamato. I think there this was the reddish brown, and then there's also a black. If I recall. Was it? Yeah, 
yeah yeah black and reddish brown so kind of wish i got the black but still really happy with this oh yeah i guess i uh, to mention uh, for those wondering um when i rolled it i got this one as well as the heracles heracles uh, it's the one where the horn is extra long on the top, so I managed to get that one. And then I was going to ro keep rolling, however, here in Japan, um, kind of like a Craigslist-like thing here. Uh, like, it's called Medicari. Um, actually, I guess, um, from what I've seen, like, Medicari might be in, in, like, overseas too, so... But here, it's great. Uh, someone's selling the one I'm missing for only 500 yen, so at cost. And then they cover the shipping, so they... So yeah, I figured instead of risk the gamble of, you know, getting a double or one I don't want. Well, actually, it's more like I just don't want double because I, I just don't really want. I just want one of each mold. So just going to order that. So waiting on that one. So so yeah, so there we have it. And then the wings here. Um, let's see. Is there a way? Yeah, I'm just going to cut it. Uh, pink was the right side. So let's just cut, cut the right side first and see. I think they also said like there was an indicator so in the pink bag here's the connection port uh this one is used to plug in right here so when you wanted a flying pose so in fact i'll just plug it and it pops in right here so like that so you know or i guess the other way so i guess uh this time if you would have it i guess you would have it like angle like that probably and then this one let's wiggle this one out too Sorry guys, I'm doing this all in the wrong order, so for those hoping for the wings, sorry, you have to wait a bit more. Um, I'm guessing when you plug it in, like so is best. Yeah, something like that, I think, so seems to be. Okay, so let's just set that up. So yeah, so this was the right side wings from the pink bag. Um, let's see if there's any indicators. I mean, oh, that's cool how they put it in here. Is there an indicator? Um... Not that I can see so, but yeah, this one you would just plug it in like so. So I guess the uh, for those who forget, or maybe <laughs> I'll use this video for self use in the future if I forget. Um, the easy way is if I guess you unplug these. Don't want to break it, but so yeah, it's hard plastic. So um, I guess for the wings here. It's got like the uh, ledge. Oh, it's in the middle, and then the supporting part is on the bottom. So I guess the bottom part sticks out on the right. So uh, this part here, if it's on the right side, that's the good side, I guess. Does it say? Oh wait, no. Oh sweet. So here, look, guys. Um, it's really hard to make out, I guess, because my finger. I'll try to. So like right here, on this little bump, it actually says R. Sorry, guys. Is you, maybe if it's higher, it's easier to see. Like right there, it's R. So now you know it's which one's right side. So that's really nice of them. Uh, but I don't think it says it here. But, you know, it's just basic puzzling. <laughs> Putting puzzle pieces together. So you just match them up. And boom. So yeah, it's hard plastic. Really nice detail. Like, sorry, I gotta just focus on this. So yeah. It's got a nice glossy detail, like you can see kind of like the lines here, really nice. Like honestly, I love this line. 500 yen, it's a cheap price to pay for such, such high quality stuff. Although I did notice uh, some people put in the comment sections like, ah, they were like, they want this one or they kind of go with the Rebel Tech ones. Uh, Rebel Tech, he's something, Yamagata, Kama, Kaido, I can't remember. I think they were Hokkaido based, that's why their name, Kaido or something, but yeah. Uh, I think people were like, oh, they didn't know which one to get. Honestly, those ones are great too, I think. I've never seen them, but uh, I got their grin leg and stuff. Like, I really like the quality. The plastic is a bit soft, but still, for 500 yen, I'd definitely say these are great. Especially with all, uh, maybe some of you, oh no, I just realized. Here, this is sticking out, so that's just, so let's just see if I can pop this off. So yeah, so that's just a bit of, uh, what is it, QC problems. Nothing I can't just use a hobby knife and cut off. Maybe I can even use it to kind of like... Rip. Nah, it's kind of in the way, but eh, it's fine. I'll trim it off later, but yeah. So there we have it, guys. It's really nice. Um, Sculpting detail, as always, is great, you know. Yamato, Yamato. Uh, the legs here, like nice and spiky. 
here's on the underbelly side. Everything's got like the matte finish. And the face, the face detailing is kinda hard to see. Maybe because of soft plastic, they couldn't get those hard edges in, so. And then you got these little bits, these are on ball joints. I don't know what they are, the feelers or something, or don't know where they go, maybe like that. You know, as, as you saw, the, the legs are, oops, the leg is on a ball joint, so. Unfortunately, they don't really rotate here, do they? No, they don't really rotate or move here. These are just solid pieces, so you can't get much out of the legs, unfortunately, I think so still. And as you know, and the wings are like that. So to put in the wings, I think uh, they said like you have it like this, right? Sorry guys, move it back a bit so you guys can. So I think they said like, oh, the beetle would be like this. And then to get in flight mode, you just rotate the head down. So you leave this part open so you can. I think, what did they say? I think they just said like lift it up. I think they just lift it, rotate it out. Like this and then 45 degree angles like that. And then here are the two ball joints here, the one there and one there for us to put the wings. And I mixed them up, but I just remember the bottom part is here, so it goes this way. I guess you can just say like the back part, this part goes up and this one goes down if you kind of can't remember which one. So not like this. So the tip doesn't go angle up, it more angles down. Just plug that in. So do be careful because, you know, clear plastic, so it's not that strong. So I'd say instead of pushing it, I think it's just best to like slowly apply pressure and wiggle it in. So there we go. Ooh, that's big. I don't know beetoscope or not, but yeah. And then you just plug this bad boy up here. Sorry guys, I know it's off. So you just plug this in here. And then now it's in a flying. Oh, it's heavy. Okay, so definitely not this way, Busters. So definitely way too heavy. So that must mean we need one more ratchet. Let me just, or maybe it's not even this one. Maybe it's the other one. So I had it here. So let's go this much. No, that's way too heavy too. Ah, so maybe I messed up here, right? So let me, let me check. Ah, okay, okay, no, no, I'm sorry. This time they suggested you put it inwards. Usually it was outwards, so this time they suggested you do it this way. Like so? Hmm. <laughs> sorry, Busters, let's see. So, this much? No. Nope. They said this much. And then straight angle up, right? Although I feel like that one's a bit much. No, definitely this way. Okay, so I think the bottom part should be about 45. Is what they suggested. And then this part, the beetle itself should go up. So this part. So let me just... Oh, <laughs> no wonder I'm pushing it in. This one should go... Up, I think this. Wait, no. Yes, this one should head straight up. Like this. There we go. Because it is back heavy. So, sorry, Busters. Let me angle it upwards so you can see how it looks like when it's flying mode. I think the wings. Like that, I think the wings they said. Yeah. So, I think they're like. Ooh, pew, 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 you know? Can't really. Do much so yeah when it's if you want it in a display in a flight mode like that really nice like that yeah that's cool although while I would like it in flight mode you know beetles kind of like nah but still that's really nice honestly I'll probably display it in a different way Although I'm not sure because I'm moving soon, so actually I'll come on my display stuff. So I'm going to remove the wings here. But yeah, so I think that went over everything I wanted to go over, put the wings back, so. The legs, yeah, unfortunately, I kind of wish maybe the, I push them down. I give, you know, so he's more crawling based. Yeah, kind of like that. 
should be like this, right? Like his legs. Ah, okay, that's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I messed up, I think. Yeah, so the uh, middle leg should go back instead of forward. So that's why it looks kind of funny. So let me just pop these out. Wiggle them out. So yeah, that's a good point, I guess. And then they should go back. There we go. Sorry, Busters, you have to see most of this review with his legs the wrong way. There we go. Although, it doesn't really do much, honestly. <laughs> hmm, interesting. So it should be head down is what it said, so, yeah. But yeah, um, I think over it, but sorry, guys. Just do want to point out, maybe it's just mine, but like the head here is really more purplish than red, uh, reddish brown, so it's kind of like a sweet potato color. But yeah, I really do like it. The detailing on this is great. You know, like, and of course, size comparisons. Um, let me get something. Hmm. Sorry, guys, I'm in the middle of moving, so I don't have my usual thing, but here is a Digimon card from the brand new Digimon Classic Collection. Edamon, the monkey, Elvis monkey. Um, this is just a normal trading card size, so like Magic of Gathering, Pokemon, or just your generic uh, playing card size. So for the beetle, he would be about like from if you just go from the body his head sticks about like that much with the horn sticking out like from the legs it's much taller width wise he'd be about about as wide as a card you know lengthwise if you want to see it this way height from behind you know he's pretty big he's a decently sized big boy and of course I'm guessing uh, those who collect this, like me, probably got the other bugs. So uh, let's start off with the Kuagas. So yeah, his, was his head always this dangly? Mm, so I, this guy already had the wings out. So, but yeah, like the Kuagas, much much longer. Oh, Buster, get back, buddy. But yeah, oh, actually, um, I didn't know. Uh, today is the second. Uh, the website finally updated and Technic Kuaga set 2 is actually releases this week so um, I'm definitely going to get that. So, oh, I'm missing my leg. It popped off somewhere. Oh, there it is. But yeah, uh, this one I think, can't remember if it was popped off or I need to glue it back on but yeah. remember but I'm just gonna leave it off for now and glue it on later but yeah so in terms of height lengthwise it's about this much I'm sorry like the ones let's see if I can move my tablet a bit lower if I angle it up a bit higher so it'd be about size wise this much you know um, if I put it side to side yeah like like these guys the quaggas are much thinner and these guys are a bit bulkier but lengthwise. So this one is, can't remember which one this one is. And then if I compare it with the other one, I think this one is a bit small, uh, the smaller one, so. About this much. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, I guess uh, if some of you wanted like a wing comparison, just to see it, um, the wings are about this much. Yeah. And then for the other insects, uh, what else did I have? Um, the praying mantis. You know? So here's the praying mantis next to him. Size wise, it's, the Budo is only about the size of the butt. <laughs> you know, but definitely, like, this guy's way heavier. He's a solid mass of plastic, so it's kind of like that give you some size comparisons and then mm, <laughs> the caterpillar uh, unfortunately I think caterpillar like definitely this caterpillar release wasn't that good like I, oh, I see it not many people like it so uh, lengthwise he's about sorry buster it's about this much this long 
and the front view would be like this. And moving on to finally the bees, the one that started them all off. Uh, here's the small one, the yellow hornet. Oh yeah, like I remember when I first got these guys, I thought, man, these things are big, so huge. And then, you know, like this brand just keeps upping the game. So yeah, size-wise, they're about the same size-ish. Right, uh, this is the small bee. I mean, uh, technically, if I rotate the butt a bit, you know, maybe about this much. So, but this is the small size bee for the bigger hornet, I think, which is a much larger one. It's like this size, size-wise, you know, you can kind of get like the butt's way bigger. Kind of like that. That's pretty much it. Um, for those maybe who don't get this, uh, I do have it on hand, so I might as well show it off. With the turtles. I guess turtle is a good indication of just about how big it is. So yeah. So it's pretty much like a turtle sized. So that's about it. I mean, um, I got other ones. But you know, if you want to compare it with armadillo or... I guess maybe even the, the box crab. Like, <laughs> honestly, as more and more releases come out with more and more size comparison I need, I'm gonna have to like stop this, so. But yeah, let's just leave it at that, Buster. So yeah, overall, uh, I really like this guy. Um, he's really nice. Uh, like, honestly, I love this style. I, this, I think this is my favorite style beetle, like the, um, sorry about it. The scissors one, well, I do like. Like, I do like this matte brown. Um, this coloring is kind of, uh, but I'll, I'm sure I'll get used to it. I really do wish I got black instead. If there's a chance, maybe I see a black one, I might roll it. Or see it for cheap, because while I do like this one, I think, like, a black one completes my set a bit better. But still, it's really nice. I really recommend it. Um, so, yeah. Um... Overall impressions, uh, sculpting's great, the coloring's great, uh, the small little nick here, like, attention to you, I mean, honestly, I'm not gonna put that against them, like, this is a small thing for something so detailed and brittle, like, this stuff, like, the attention to detail and the qu overall quality is more than enough to make up for the small, like, 1% chance, like, I'm sure, like, everyone else just won't have this, and it's nothing I can't just fix myself, like, it's super easy to do so but yeah uh, molding is great a nice heft uh, so in other words I greatly uh, recommend this for beetle lovers especially who like the uh, specifically the uh, rhinoceros beetle the Yamato ones but yeah like like I said I prefer these beetles like designed more than the other ones but it's a bit smaller but still really great at 500 yen it's great um the only things I guess the negatives would be maybe kind of like because the horn is soft plastic you know it is liable to like bend a bit I kind of wish they did maybe like hard plastic here instead and then uh, the coloring I wish it was kind of more brownish red than purplish I guess it's I wish that they had put more brown than red overall to give it a more brown coloring look that's the only other thing you know push the head back to cover it but yeah like honestly it's great um, if anything uh, if you guys want like starship troopers get like tons of these and get like a bug infestation so that would look really cool but yeah, I can't recommend this guy highly enough. It's really good. Um, it's 500 yen here in Japan, so I'm guessing if you order online with like the markups, it'll be like maybe ten dollars, maybe tw even tw like twelve after shipping. Um, even then, at twelve dollars, honestly, I don't know what the buying power is back home anymore. So, and you know, but yeah, I definitely say get it for beetle lovers. Um, however, compared to say like crabs and stuff. I do feel like, at least here in Japan, there's a lot more beetle toys you can get. So, example, like, the caterpillars or the crabs, like, that's a niche market. There's definitely not many figurines of it. I do know for a fact, like, summertime and stuff, there's lots of, like, beetle-type bugs. There's, like, another set that just, like, uh, their selling point is, like, oh, it's a one-to-one -one scale with beetles, highly realistic and stuff. They Those ones, you can, don't have the opening wings and stuff. Those were just like a solid, kind of like one molded thing. So, uh, at least for rhinoceros beetles lovers, 
Um, you do have other options, so that one's clearly up to you. But still, I'd say, personally for me, I'd say get it because if you do like collecting like me and you know, you kind of got OCD with like neat full sets, like the fact that you can collect this one and the like uh, the other Kawaga, other um, beetles and stuff. And you know, the fact that they come with like a little mini stand that goes along with it for different poses and then it just looks really nice when they're all lined up together. I think that's like another positive to add on to for why you should choose this set over the other ones. But yeah, can't recommend this highly enough. And actually, uh, sorry guys, it took so long for this video, but hope you guys enjoyed this and found it useful. Um, you know, uh, what is it? Uh, if you guys had any questions or comments, let me know down in the comment section below, you know, if there's anything I didn't go over, to, or went over too fast or I missed out, uh, or just maybe like with the legs, you wanna point it out again to me, yeah. Feel free to let me know and I'll be sure to get back to you on that. But yeah, as always, Busters, thanks for watching and hope to see you guys again on my next capsule toy review. As always, this is Buster Coon here, off to do the Starry Fandango.